Okay, you're now tuning in with WZRA-TV and WXYB Radio. And today we have with us Drew Seeley and his guitarist, Brandon Slavinsky. What's up, guys? What's going on? How are you doing? So, can you guys tell me how you first met and how long you guys have been working together? Uh, you want to take this one? Uh, we, we, uh, we met in uh, high school. First uh, actually, we met in middle school. Middle school. Uh, yeah, one of my first friends when I moved here, speaking, uh, from, uh, from Canada. Uh, and we started a band uh, in junior high school. We've been best friends ever since. Uh huh. So you guys were both raised in Orlando, right? Uh yeah, I lived in Orlando for like '95 to '04. Uh huh. Yeah, from like '86. Uh huh. Do you guys go back and visit often? We do. You well, do. Yeah, both of us have a lot of family still back there, so we were we were just in Orlando for uh, for Christmas this year. We did a show at Celebration. Uh huh. Uh, so, Drew, how did you get discovered exactly? Uh, the old-fashioned way, you know, just hitting the pavement and auditioning for everything I could. Uh, you know, while I lived in Florida, I did a couple episodes of uh, One Tree Hill and Dawson's Creek in the last season. And, uh, you know, we used to drive nine, ten hours just auditioning for those uh, up to Wilmington. So I just, you know, pieced together a resume really slowly, and then uh, in 2004 decided to uh, make the jump and move out to L.A., give it a try. And, uh, you know, a couple years later, I had my big break with uh, co-writing that song from High School Musical, and uh, it's led to uh, everything that's going on now. Well, obviously, moving to California was the best uh, decision you made then, huh? I would say so. <laughs> I love it here. It's, it's pretty great. So your dancing and singing is obviously phenomenal. Have you taken any dance uh, lessons or vocal training before? Uh, I did. I actually started dancing before anything else. I started dancing back in Canada before I moved to Florida. Uh, I, I never really took any formal vocal training, you know, just a little bit here and there, but for the most part, uh, you know, school, you know, I was in chorus and choir and that whole bit, did all the, you know, the musicals, and then I had my band, so I kind of just found my own voice through doing all those different things. Uh-huh. So how was it filming another Cinderella story? It was pretty freaking great. <laughs> uh, it was, uh, you know, it was in, in uh, Vancouver, which, you know, I have a lot of family in Vancouver, too, so I got some of them in the film as extras, and that was fun. Oh. Um, and the weather was great. You know, I, I love Canada. It was an it, it excuse to be paid to go up there and hang out with my friends and family for two months. So it was amazing. Right. Uh, what would you say was the best part of filming that whole movie? Um, that's a hard question. You know, I really had a great time the whole time. I, uh, well, I got a chance to, you know, write some of the music from it. You know, I got to sing a lot of my own original music in something that I knew was going to get a shot at coming out, so that was exciting. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I would have to say my favorite number in the whole movie was when you and Selena sang the new classic. Oh, thank you. <laughs> what would you say your favorite scene was? Probably that one, too. Uh-huh. Probably, uh, are you talking about the, the a cappella version in a room or the big dance finale scene? That's well, it? both, but the dance finale. Yeah. That took about a week to shoot. That was in this big, empty iron foundry uh, of a building about 100 to 200 extra people. You know, they had fog machines, the whole, you know, all the lights going. It really felt like a real concert, so that was probably my favorite part of shooting, too. Oh, you're kidding. Now, in the one scene where you and Selena Gomez went outside by the pool, it seemed like you guys were freezing. What was the actual temperature like? We were. It was pretty cool. Uh, right underneath the camera where you couldn't see, there were guys with big uh, um, heaters pointed at us the whole time. You know, oh, my gosh. Especially with freezing, because she was wearing this little vest. I was a little bit better, but uh, we had to suck in ice cubes between between takes so that our breath wouldn't show when, when it started, uh, when they started rolling. So they had all these little tricks like that uh, to make it look like we were in Beverly Hills. Uh-huh. Vancouver is no Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. Now, speaking of Selena Gomez, what was it like working with her? It was great. I would do it again in a heartbeat. She's really, really sweet, down to earth. Uh, you know, I just keep saying she's a, you know, she's a goofball like me. You know, we didn't take ourselves <laughs> too seriously. And, uh, yeah, we had a great time. That's cool. Now, if you could work with any other actor or actress, who would it be and why? Ooh, good question. Uh, I like Rachel McAdams, and I haven't seen her in anything in a couple of years. And she's a fellow Canadian. Uh huh. So yeah, that's true. Probably. So I hear you're going to be in Adam Sandler's first ever thriller movie, Shortcut. Can you tell us about yeah, the movie? Yeah. Well, I can't tell you too much about it because uh, it's a suspense and I don't, I don't want to give anything away, but uh, I, I think it's, I hope it's going to be released in the spring. Uh, uh -huh. It was, a, it was a totally different shooting experience. 
uh, you know, no music or anything like that at all. It was a lot of running through the woods and uh, getting myself all scraped up. It was it was pretty pretty scary. I was scared <laughs> shooting it, so I hope people are scared of watching it. <laughs> Um, so how would you say your uh, experience was with the High School Musical Tour then? Well, uh, I got to, <laughs> I went from singing in the shower to singing in stadiums for 60,000 people a night and touring South America, so that says it right there. You know, I, I was, I, every night was just, I stepped on stage and could not believe that I had this opportunity and that I was really doing this. It was amazing. Right. Absolutely. Well, I know you also have a very supportive mom who helps you out a lot. Mom? Oh, yeah, she's great. <laughs> she's, she's, she's always in the front row. Oh. She's the one with the, the sign with the likes, the flash on the side, you know. <laughs> the, the, the shirt with my face on it really big, you know. Oh. That's too embarrassing, you know. I love the way she does. Okay, so Brandon, now on to you. Um, do you think you would ever um, consider acting? Um, well, it really depends on if the opportunity arises. Uh, I'm, I didn't move to California to, to really be an actor, but I used to act back, to, back in the day, so uh -huh. if it comes through, then, then I'll go for it. What type of acting did you do? I probably have to stick to, like, a more comedy-based thing, because I'm just a big goofball. <laughs> so how old were you when you first started singing? Um, I, I, I probably about, like, 12 or 13, I started in uh, fifth grade, so, uh, and I did like all state choirs over in Florida, and we had uh, huge competitions in Tampa, and, and uh, just, just a lot of great giant choirs back in the day, and I, I loved it. It was my favorite thing to do every year, was to go to Tampa and sing in like the most professional children's choirs ever. Oh, well, go Tampa, our homeland right here. This is where our station is at. <laughs> all right. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love Tampa. It's gorgeous. Uh, are you coming to the Super Bowl? I wish. It would be nice. <laughs> I, I, don't know, I don't know if we're going to make it over there. Yeah. So how old were you when you first started to play the guitar? I was nine years old, and mm -hmm. so I'm 25 now. So wow. So I've 16 years playing guitar. Wow, and you're very good at it. <laughs> Thanks. Can you, can you play any other instruments besides the guitar? I can play uh, the drums, the piano, the bass. Uh, I'm quite fluent in the recorder. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm really good at sequencing and producing. That's, that's, that's one of the reasons why Andrew pulled me out here to California is because uh, I've got the studio and, and some of the know-how. That's really good. So uh, your songs are pretty much written and recorded by yourself then? Um, well, the, my own songs are all written and recorded by myself, but Andrew and I go to different studios, and sometimes people come to this studio and, you know, we'll, we'll collaborate on certain things, or Andrew will have certain tracks that he wants to record the vocals to, and so we do them in the home studio. But there are other songs that, uh, that are potentially going to be debuted on uh, Andrew's upcoming up, up album, mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and so we'll see, uh, we'll see exactly where they lie, but those, some, some of those might be written by me, so we'll see. Oh, I was just going to ask you guys if any of you would be doing an album. Yeah, I mean, there's no uh, you know, release date. Mm -hmm. at this point, but uh, the music has definitely come along really well, and uh, before an actual album does drop, there's going to be a couple other uh, compilation CDs and things that I'll have some songs on, so huh. definitely some new music coming. Nice. I will definitely be looking forward to those. Now, Brandon, <laughs> <laughs> Brandon, how did you come up with the name Cali Story? Um, well, you know, I, I, I made a big jump coming from, uh, from Florida to here, and um, it, just, it was such a long journey. I drove all the way out from Florida by myself in my uh, my beat up Ford Explorer and oh. I was surprised that even made it and so like Cal's story is pretty much like all the all the trials and tribulations and all the craziness that's happened since I've been here um, you know whether it be in dealing with friends or ex girlfriends or you know like just being in California in general or like self reflection just trying to trying to figure out exactly exactly who I am and where I stand in California right. Now, all I know is that I like staying uh, up to date with DrewTube. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> do you guys think that's the best way for your fans to see what's new with you guys? Absolutely. It's, yeah. You know, we, we shoot the film, like, on scene or whatever's going on, and we just love to, uh, love to kind of, like, throw a little bit of humor into it and, and uh, show Andrew's true side sometimes. <laughs> uh, sometimes we, 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 I like to catch Andrew uh, fooling around and goofing off. But, you know, all in all, that's, uh, that's been the best. We've gotten such a great response from the fans from it. That's great. To appreciate it. And, 
seeing it, seeing things from a different angle. And we really hope that, that more people get to see it and that more people, like, reach out to us through it because, you know, the more the more people speak up, it's going to make it, like, so we can do it more, you know? We right. want to do it more as long as we get a good response. Right. Yeah. Now, can you guys tell me about that jingle that's in the beginning of each video? <laughs> well, it's different every time. We, we, we were just goofing around one day and recorded a bunch of them. We like to throw a new one on every video we do, so... That's another thing. If, uh, you know, if you or anybody has any ideas of songs that you want to hear and uh, silly little hooks, just uh, send them over and, and we will record them. We'll yeah. tube them out. Yeah, 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 of course. By all the original writers. <laughs> <laughs>